Eddie, normally at this stage of a season, I would ask a manager how rested they feel, but I know you barely rest as it is. So, more importantly, how much more settled do you feel now that the family are up here? Is it good personally and professionally? Yeah, I think a massive difference having my family close to me. So, um, I've had a good summer in the sense of getting to know the area better, spending more time here. Um, yeah, I just feel ready to go and, and I feel... Um, Newcastle manager now. I think I think it took a while to actually feel, you know, not not through anyone's um, reaction, just, just to feel um, settled. Um, but yeah, really enjoying the work. Really enjoyed pre-season. It's always a great time for a coach uh, to implement his plans and try and get the team playing as we want to. We've heard from John Joe Shelby saying he plays local hero on the winter games. Dan Byrne is pretty much just the epitome of a Geordie. How many Geordie cultures have you picked up by now? Ooh. I'd be lying, I think, if I said there was any. Um, no, I think for me, I'm so busy with my job and so in, uh, intense in the role that I don't really have very little time for, for much spare time or getting into any traditions, local traditions. Hopefully that, that will change as uh, time evolves. We'll ask you again in about six months' time anyway. <laughs> uh, obviously, it's your first pre-season for yourself personally in, in three years. Yeah. What, what was that like, getting back into a, a pre-season sort of format? Is that right? Is that, is that true, so, is yeah, it? Okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah. My stats time. are normally quite wrong, though. No, so. no, no, you're probably right. Time goes so quickly. But yeah, I, I didn't feel like I'd been away from pre-seasons, if that makes sense. I, um, I, I really enjoyed the pre-season time, as I said earlier. The chance to coach and to lay foundations that we're going to need throughout the season so I've enjoyed that process players have been excellent in their attitude and delivery of everything we've asked them to do games have been enjoyable I think they've been tough but really good games so uh, I think we're well set good pre-season I think we're ready for the season to start now certainly from looking from the outside looking in how ball seems to be really have landed home with them how far along do you think they are now in terms of implementing exactly how you want them to play I think in terms of understanding what we want, yeah, very high. I think the players know what I want. Now, knowing what you want and then delivering it in the way that you want to is, is sometimes easier said than done because you're at the cutting edge, we're at the highest level and we're playing against very good teams who are also trying to implement their style on us. So we know that uh, it's never a finished, we're never going to be the finished product. We're always working to try and be perfect and we know that that... Uh, we've got a long way to go before we get there, but I, I do think we're we're along along the way now, and I think the players. Uh, the key thing is they understand what we want. In terms of individuals, we saw the Joel Linton Renaissance last season. Given pre-season form, is it this year that Miguel Almiron has that sort of Renaissance? Do we feel? Um, well, for me, it wouldn't be a Renaissance as, as such for Miggy because I think he was important, very important player for us last year. Um, I thought at the back end of the season he was terrific without getting the, maybe the goals and the headlines that his performances deserve, but certainly in terms of his overall um, level was very high. He, he became an integral part of the team. Um, I think everyone knows with Miggy, he's such a hard worker, he's such a team player. I'd love him to get some individual rewards off the back of that as well with more goals. And he's certainly during pre-season, he's, he's done very well, very well in that respect. I hope that continues for him. Another individual, I know Elliot Anderson's a name that you've talked about a lot in the last few weeks. Very impressive during pre-season. What's the latest on him and how much of an impact, if he does stay, can you see him having in the Premier League this season? I think the biggest compliment I can pay to him is that he hasn't looked out of place in amongst established Premier League players. He's uh, more than held his own in training and in the games. I think he did really well in the in the Atalanta game because I think he it was a big test for him, big crowd, big occasion. And he played his normal game. There was no change from how he had been during pre-season. There was no shrinking under the challenge. There was almost a growing and an embracing the challenge. So um, very, very pleased with him personally. And yeah, he'll have a big part to play this season for us. We're not going to carry a huge squad in terms of numbers. So every player is vitally important. On incomings, I know you do most of your transfer business now at the top of water slides or in the back <laughs> of cars or anything like that. But uh, now that you are back in Newcastle, can Newcastle spend big in a position? Are they in a position to spend big on an attacking player? I know you've spoken about that in the last few days. Would you clarify as big? That's the question. Um, <laughs> I don't know what is big these days, you know, with the transfer fees that we have to pay for players. I think we are competitive in the market. We're trying to bring an attacker in yeah. or, yeah, that's right. We're trying to bring an attacker in or someone that can play in the front positions. Um, let's see. I, I think it's difficult to, to give a direct answer to the question because the transfer market, as I've said many times, is so unpredictable. Come the end of 
the transfer market, though, come the end of the transfer window, how different could this Newcastle side look, at least going forward? I don't think it will look drastically different, to be honest, unless there's something uh, crazy happens, which you can never foresee. I think we're looking to try and bring quality in rather than numbers. You know, for me, it's always about trying to impact um, the team. I know substitutes will be really important this year. The strength of the squad will be really important this year because we can make five changes. Um, but I think we've got to be smart with what money we do have. So last season was all about the new era at Newcastle United. What's this season all about from your perspective? Uh, I think this season is, oof, that's a difficult one to give you a, a catchphrase. I think this season is about progression and improvement. Uh, we want to evolve into the team that we, we want to be in the future. Uh, we're always working to improve every day in every aspect of our game. So I think, uh, yeah, progress, improvement, uh, a key word. The key word as well as, that's been bandied about a lot has been expectations that have been elevated about Newcastle United into this season. How close are the expectations that you hear about to your expectations of this club? It depends what I'm listening to. I haven't heard too much, to be honest, because I, I, I purposely put myself out of that environment, out of that world. I, I tend to listen to very, very little coming from media or, or anywhere else. I think my own expectations, my own eyes really dictate what I see and, and make uh, form my decisions, which I think is how it has to be. Uh, I've got high expectations of myself and of my team. Uh, that will never change. Uh, I don't sit here not wanting to win every week um, and not wanting to achieve great things for the club. So. Um, I don't mind that. I think as long as it's um, uh, the expectations are controlled, I think uh, then we'll be fine. Just a couple of quick final ones. Obviously, Nottingham Forest to open up the season. What have you made of their approach to things on their return to the Premier League? And how important, of course, is it to start with after waiting, what, three, four months for it last season? Yeah, I've been very impressed by Nottingham Forest. I mean, I think if you look, just look at last season, the job uh, Steve Cooper did was incredible. Uh, no one, I think, would have given them a chance of promotion from when he took over. I think the job he did was outstanding, not just in how he did it, but the way he achieved it. Uh, they've um, been active in the transfer market. It's been interesting to see how they've uh, recruited players. But there's no one way. There's, there's loads of different ways to achieve the same objective. They've done things their way, and um, I wish them luck. But obviously, we want, we want a fast start. As you say, after last year, waiting for so long for a win, um, it would be great if we could um, make a really good start to this season. And just finally, what, what would be your kind of personal message to the fans, to everyone involved with Newcastle United ahead of what many are hoping is going to be a, a real breakthrough season for the club? Well, I think it's more of the same for me uh, as an expectation to our supporters. They were absolutely incredible last year. I couldn't criticise them from one, one game, any moment. They, were, they backed us. When we really, really needed them, they were there for us. When we were looking... Uh, in a really difficult position, they, they elevated us and um, yeah, I just asked the same unconditional support really is. And from our side, we've got to give them our best every week, every moment. Uh, we've got to do the club proud.